Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we were building the card service and we decided that uh, we are going to build order service and uh, delivery service and we are going to provide a synchronous communication between services once the, the payment is done through the stripe and all. So all those things we are going to build in the coming videos. So what we are going to do in this video is uh, here I did some changes. So I will just talk about those changes. So what do we have is on the landing page we are fetching the the restaurants instead of that I will just fetch the the top rated menu items and then the, these are the filters we have I will we will just apply these filters and then we can also add some kind of infinite scroll so that when you scroll down we should be able to see a huge list of uh, menu items coming from different restaurants right that's what we can do and for this change like uh, we already have a search api on the dish i mean we can just apply these filters to this api which is doing a filter by ratings delivery time and order by and there, this is the page generated api which we already have so what i'm doing here is inside the service i did some changes i will go through them so here restaurant dish service we are going to First, do the select on the restaurant dish and restaurant dish has a join with the restaurant so what we are doing is we are fetching all the restaurants here if i apply this you can see all the dish menu items and inside the nested object we are getting the restaurant also so this is what we are showing currently on the tile and when you click on to this we are going to navigate to this restaurant id on the restaurant detail page so if i click on to this we are navigating to this restaurant id and here we are fetching these categories these categories are also not uh, structured properly these categories are, are like okay there is a breakfast lunch dinner brunch all these options provided by this uh, particular uh, restaurant so user can click on to that and then can switch the active category okay so what we need to do here is we need to work on some ui and the api so this is a get restaurant by id api you need to customize the response for this particular api so let's say i'm talking about this restaurant id so here if i just send the request so what we are getting we are getting all the dishes so here instead of getting it like this i need to do the grouping of all the dishes which i'm getting so you can see group by category so okay i'm getting the restaurant and then the dish menu items based on the category so there is a category key and the value will be uh, the array of all the dish menu items so we need to do some transformation on the response and i will also try to change uh, some data we have already so let me just pull up the the data which is restaurant api okay so here is our database which contains restaurants there should be many okay we have one restaurant and restaurant dishes so what do we have is the ratings so we can populate some ratings rating should be there should be rating service which is working in the background and where user can submit the ratings from the ui I mean that is just like based on the feedback how you want to rate a particular dish menu item so this can be feeded this can be inserted through some different service rating service where you can rate a particular dish menu item and a user will get a form after ordering a particular menu item where user can rate and here we can update the ratings on the the dish menu item of that restaurant here uh, what we can do is we need to look at the category right okay so this is what i'm talking about we will just try to play with the data okay this is lunch so i will just make some lunch and make some dinner Okay, lunch dinner and breakfast so all these categories we have here 
so now what we need to do is we need to filter out all those things based on these properties i will just save this data so here what we are getting right now is okay we are getting this category which is dinner we need to group by these categories so what we can do is we can do the transformation of the the data so we don't need to play with this data on the front end we are getting the the restaurant by id so i will just do the group by category okay and here do we have this api get restaurant by id restaurant service so we'll go to the restaurant controller get restaurant by id here we are getting the detailed data and here we can play with the the response Post response okay so resp uh, response dot dishes right this is what we are getting const dish menu item this we are getting from the response object response dot dishes and now we are going to play with the dish menu items and now we are going to transform it so for that we are going to create a utility and i will just create index.ts and i'm just going to play with simple example let's say this is an array of uh, objects right and here i'm trying to create a do the group by this is object array and this is the property so i got the simple example from mdn okay this is like peoples and i want to do the group by based on the age okay so here you can play with this okay, i should have this run command run code and i can print this what we are getting from here i mean instead of discussing and talking about this i will explain the code what it is doing here ts node okay this is i created dot ts let for running this we need to have the dot js file and i will run the code okay so this is what i want right based on the category i want to have a array of all the objects so we can use this right we can run all mostly all the other test cases also so what this group by is doing so it is just using the reduce function it is checking if this property already exists it's like creating a map in the accumulator it's like a reduce function right and if the key is found same key is found then it will just push it otherwise it will initialize that new key with the empty array and then and in the next iteration it will found that key so it will push the element to that uh, uh, to that object and here the key is this the property which you are passing okay so this is group by export function group by we can use this group by i know there are many ways of doing a group by based on one particular property inside an object array this is one of it so dish menu item here we can just create call this function group by import group by from and so here we need to convert it into dot ts export function group by now we should be able to search for this yes it's coming from utility and here we need to pass the dish menu items and group by is the category so you can see if we are doing this group by what will happen is it will create these multiple categories inside an object okay and that that we are going to assign to the response response dot dishes it's now not going to be an, an array it is going to be an object with an array and then we can return the response okay now if i try to see what it is returning i'm getting passing all the array and category so here yes this is what i want this is just a simple example from the mdn which is available on the stack overflow just a simple group by i don't want to write it so here this is what i want this is dinner dishes inside a dishes object we got the dinner first property then all the dinner menu items then there is a lunch then there is a brunch or something like this right 
and then there is a category because we also have a category object and that is giving us an array so this response uh, we happily adopt this in the we can ha happily adopt this in the react app we already accessing the dishes object and then dishes object will have this key value pair so let's go to our code let's go to our front end components and here dish card is using the card component restaurant list so we need to go to the landing page of the restaurant this is home page this is the restaurant page here we are getting the dish data okay we need to see what we are doing here so we got all the the dishes use selector selected restaurant okay and then here we are capturing the status and data data dot dishes this will give us as, as an object not an array okay because here now we are getting dish data this is an object which contains a key value pair okay so how do we iterate all these keys so what we can do is it has a key value pair dishes dishes is an object so let's see dish data dishes and then we are trying to run a loop on to the dishes in the bottom dishes and then if dishes is an array then data dot dishes dot map now dishes is an object which contains the key value pair so now as uh, this dishes is coming as an object which has a key value pair so what we need to do we need to just use object dot keys to first convert that into an array so here you can see object dot keys dishes so it will give us uh, the key will give us the name of all these categories and the value will be dishes key so that will give us array including all the dish menu items so this is how we can convert this this search dot length is greater than zero now there is a search also if you look into this now categories looks fine it contains okay uh, there are dinner has a four items then there is a grouping brunch has a one item lunch has a five items and somehow their image is not coming so let's see so this is a restaurant page and that is looking for the dish category wise now it should be using thumbnail property so which we need to fix okay that is coming from here okay because recently we changed it it should be coming as a thumbnail okay still there is no image let me see what is wrong here we are showing thumbnail at two places i think for the thumbnail so there are two criteria as if the food type is vegetarian then we are rendering it differently if food type is non-vegetarian then we are rendering it differently and i can see some random photos coming up now so this looks fine and then there is a plus minus button which we using which you can add and remove the items to the cart okay so we are showing food dot item description we can put lots of uh, things here so this is the item name and the description let's see what we are getting because i see this veg non veg symbol is coming uh, totally wrong so here this is our api response that is giving us uh, the dishes and you can see here the property meal type okay food type food underscore type is giving us this property so here we are just grouping the category and then here food dot veg i think it should be a food dot food type if it is veg otherwise uh, non-veg and here the same thing we need to do if food dot food type is there otherwise food dot food type let me just see what we are doing here the grouping 
wedge only option so when you select a wedge only then we need to just show only the the food type where it is wedge otherwise we need to show all the all the food menu items so here you can see i think the now label labels are coming properly and when you click on to this what will happen is it is going to show only the vegetarian menu items okay dot wedge only it is going to show only these menu items and then i think there is a uh, buttons are not there which i will try to place okay these buttons are coming when you are authenticated but uh, i mean we are not putting that constraint here you can just see these even if you are not authenticated but you will not be able to place any order until unless you are not authenticated so that condition we already have so now it should show things are good now okay so here for each and every food we are deciding okay if a wedge only option is enabled then go here otherwise render it in the, the default flow and here you can check the food type if it is wedge and non wedge and here we can also add a description a little bit of the description on small text base capitalize for dot description and this can go with h5 same we need to add on the other div because now we are dis putting the description also So some bit of uh, because currently it's just a garbage uh, text we have added but some bit of uh, basic information needs to be there that talks about the ingredient cost for to the ratings and uh, the basic information about the cuisine food type menu type all these information you can try to display here. Okay now what we are doing here is uh, grouping is working the search part we need to take care right currently it's not working right result map dot function it's breaking so we need to take care of that so what we are doing with the search go to our restaurant page and whenever you change on this uh, search part this search menu item okay there should be a text field where you are actually entering the search text so this is what and here we are doing handle this search and whenever the search text is changing we are doing uh, some filtering and where it is breaking i think dot map is not a function okay so console try to debug this and i will try to enter something in the search so here i got the error search map okay do i have this list container search result dot map yeah this is wrong because we don't have a map we are we have the object okay so here we are not going to do the same thing we are going to run a map onto the object dot keys okay search result search are there then just play with this object dot keys search results dot menu item and hey here we are going to pass couple of attributes restaurant dot id dish is search true dish menu item object okay this components needs to be redefined based on our search criteria here because here we are getting the search results i can just filter out based on the category itself so we can render the same component i need to figure out because when you text type something we are just displaying a component matching with that search text so instead of that we can just uh, render the same component passing the same things here we are just running a loop on to the search menu items object dot keys okay 
this looks fine now i can just do some formatting and here okay so this is good at least it's not breaking now what will happen is when you try to enter the search what we need to do we need to filter out the the object filter out this uh, dishes object and we need to display only those information which matches with the search and when you remove the search i mean we, i'm just trying to simplify it by not creating a separate component so here uh, we already have this uh, object so here we are doing search handle dish search so here what we need to do is this dishes object looks like this here this is an object which contains okay which contains object properties somewhat like this so this is here is your category and then it contains an array inside array you have the dish array object so now we need to apply a search on this so search actually applied on these array elements and we need to we need to return only those categories which contains that particular dish menu item so here let's try to use our strategy how we are going to do it first of all we need can iterate so it's like a filtered is just another object which we are going to have so here for loop uh, const i in what is the the object is dishes this is the the main object which we are not going to alter here we have we can create a copy of that i of this is and then here we are going to run a loop or we can just do the filter right instead of doing this because we cannot do filter because it's not an object it's not a, an array it's an object okay so here we have written a logic uh, in the restaurant page what i'm doing is i'm trying to so these are the dishes dishes is like a key value pair right this is how the if you look at the json structure of the dishes it contains the key value pair if you look at the network tab so this is our dish menu items right this is the key value pair so what we can do to search and categorize category we are able to create now for search we will just uh, worry about just uh, capturing these arrays and search in the name of this particular dish what is the dish name is matching with whatever we are typing and then extracting the array out of it so here what we are doing is we are just getting the filtered array and then that filtered array we are setting in the search result and this search result we are rendering here so if you see our search results dot map and here we have a dish search component the ob the this component we need to get this back because here we are just showing an individual dish menu item we we do not want to reset the categories being shown on the left hand side so we will just have this dish search component which will contain the which will uh, render only the individual dish menu item from here based on the food type and here we can see like if i try to enter paneer so this is a different component when you search and when you reset this is a different component we can just show the description and all the other properties also if you want in the search component name and description okay this is the price here we can just do h5 put dot name description substring to let's say till 100 there is enough font small and let's say if i'm just typing so here my now my search is also working right so this is simple and now when you click on to this we need to navigate we just we can just add right here we also need to have a plus minus menu items right that is missing so that we can copy from this component category wise component that is available just after the image food name thumbnail so here inside a restaurant we are showing category search component 
and here just after this okay this is enabled only for authentication but we will show it all the time so food.id food.price so here these are the methods which we need to write to add the items and remove the items from the card so if i search funir so my search is working now i can just do plus minus that will help me to add the items to the card right now it's not working because we haven't had we don't have a handler but now end to end like displaying the the items we will also add an infinite loading so when you scroll it down what we will do is and these are the the filters right we need to add by default when you click on to this we will just make a api call and we will dispatch an action with the ratings coming from uh the highest rating to the lowest and then low to high high to low these are also other api calls like same api call with the just filters those we can add in the api call and we can get the data so how we can do it we can go to the restaurant uh, sorry landing page so in the landing page uh, we have carousel and this is the dish list component right here we are just passing these parameters as a filter parameters so this filter reducer is there and once you click on to these these are the filters you can see when you click on to that this is what we are setting these are the different filters we are applying and you can see if i talk about the ratings handle filter change right it is dispatching the type filter and here we have a reducer so it's like all the react redux uh, react hooks we have a reducer and uh, a simple dispatch we are using use reducer hook to dispatch these small actions okay what is the type filter and based on that it is giving me the the filter type these filters we need to pass to the apis so let's match these filters based on our uh based on our api urls okay so if we look into this here this is our api url so let's say if i want to just do it with the ratings or let's say delivery time ascending descending so this is what the filter we are setting so delivery time filter type is something like this we are adding and based on that we will change so delivery time delivery time order ascending ratings okay let's add this here filter type ratings i think this is what it is filter time is rating without s order by ascending order by descending because we need a highly rated rest a highly rated menu items coming first price lower to higher and higher uh, higher to lower lower to higher okay this is price lower to higher so this we will add here and this we will add here this is simple use reducer when you click on to this this is what is being passed and here our this is talking about price so here we will replace this with the price and whenever you change the filters your pagination will also be reset so we don't need to worry about pagination price low to higher that means ascending order and descending so this is our filter which we are getting and now these filters we can pass to fetch dishes api call so what these filters are these filters are i think these are just like a string this is what it is returning and then fetch dishes here we can get the the filters of type string external api we can just forward this filter and here we are getting the the filter and even we need to also pass the paginations right filters and the the pages like page and limit that we can add with the infinite scroll here we are doing with the price but this filter we don't need to use it we need to use the filter coming from our apis coming from the ui like whenever the user is interacting with the page okay this filter doesn't start with at the rate okay page and limit now let's see if it is applying those filters okay we did some mistake let's see what it is okay okay we are doing some comparison to make the 
the tab highlighted so that is broken now let's fix that okay this is what i'm talking about so filters when you click on to this okay now i need to copy the strings this is really not a nice implementation and filter change okay this is for delivery time so this is our filter okay this is sorted now similarly we need to fix all the others when you click on to the ratings filter and then there is a handle rating change so we'll apply this here then there is a price low to higher and price higher to lower okay i will just reset this filter and this is desc okay now i think our error should be gone okay fetch dishes where are we doing this where is which component okay homepage.tsx so we will just see what we are doing here homepage.tsx here we can just supply empty string but if we supply empty string okay this is what fetch dishes is doing okay do we need to pass it because by default i think uh, when we go to the landing page it's going to fetch the the default restaurants and now when i click on to this delivery time ratings price low to high i will play with this data so here i'm trying to populate some data let's say this is uh, vegan paratha or something rating is let's say five food type veg price is let's say 600 delivery time is 50 minutes okay i think my token is invalid i need to get my new token so go to network and fetch the new token because uh, okay first of all fetch the token and then we'll talk about it headers that we can get from here token x is token okay log out and login and just change the token here authorize and here we are creating restaurant menu item okay then create a couple of more with uh, different data so we can just test this ascending descending logic like the filters logic with the ratings let's say rating is 9 uh, and it is 900 time is 4 okay let's go to the react app and try to render the components i think the filters are breaking because we are not passing the the default filter value here inside this uh, okay home page here fetch this is if i pass this empty then okay because if i pass this empty then this filter will break okay so let's say if i'm not passing filters there should be two condition filters should be optional so here we can just add a condition let's say const url if you are passing filters filter then it will be something like this and if you are not passing filter then it will be something like this so we will just remove these filters from here So filter is like an optional parameter now here fetch dishes we'll just uh, make this uh, filter optional so now we should be good i will reload the page try to see okay is there any error we are getting looks like we are getting one network error 
okay why it is giving undefined because if it will be bad request if we are passing this as an undefined but we already fixed it let's see where it is up happening fetch dishes if string is going undefined filter if filter is if filter value is there then we are passing it otherwise api v1 dishes okay sorry i didn't replace this url what a stupid mistake now i should be able to see my data why it is giving bad request is there a filter type must be of one of the following so we need to make the filter type optional let's say if none of the filter type is being passed so that will be changed through the apis okay inside our controller dish controller uh, list restaurant dish menu and uh, there is a search query dto right so there is a filter type this should also be is optional this we can add and make this uh, filter optional order by is optional let's say i don't want to pass then these properties are optional okay now i can try again i think my server will get restarted otherwise we need to see okay now i got some results you can see by default let's say if i go to the ratings i'm getting 403 403 so now we need to debug this cost low to high 200 200 2000 yeah high to low yes costing uh, filter is working like i can i can see uh this filter working where i can see the ascending descending to ascending delivery time okay i can see the delivery time 40 minute 40 minute 50 and 60 this is good and then i can see high to low 2000 for two and then similarly we have i mean uh, ascending to descending order so this is also working so these are our filters and we can also see the network tab what uh, filters we are applying if i click on here you can see the multiple api calls and these are the filters and you can see the different data sets now we also need to work on the pagination like uh, i can i can do the infinite scroll when i scroll down i should be able to reload the further menu items from the api call so this is a simple example of uh, how we can do uh, the react infinite scroll with this uh, utility tool here we need to use a react query i'm just looking at the example and trying to understand uh, what all things we need to do to implement this in our project because we have dish menu items and when you want to scroll i should be able to fetch the next api call even i i am fine by changing the api response having a having a property of next page and the previous page property uh, some kind of a token which can be used to fetch the data for the next page because we need to always know okay is there any next page available that can be determined by this previous page id and next page id so i will i will be changing the pagination api which we already have for the dish menu item just only the response object so that we would know okay what is the the next page token and here we will take another uh, parameter page token you enter that page token and we will just fetch the data for the next consecutive page it's like a cursor okay so let me see this so for now we have actually done a lot of work on the ui side which talks about okay how to display the restaurant landing page filtering and searching the five page menu items and now we will also add the items here i can uh, fetch the few more information like the ratings delivery time the price and a description about the restaurant address locations and all so let me see why, where the component is so here we can also fetch the address of the restaurant what i can do is uh, restaurant address repo address entity and this is address repo so we can just do uh, i mean the relations won't work here 
what we need to do is we are getting the address await this dot restaurant address repo dot find one where so inside a restaurant address we have a restaurant where id is restaurant dot id okay how we do it so we just need to do a find where on the restaurant address repo so here id is okay the restaurant id because we are passing the restaurant id okay white is complaining da, 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 can't find module it is strange so here what we are saying is give me the address where we are uh, getting this response so, and here i can just do is response dot address So this is like a new type we are returning in the response let's see run this uh, npm run start dev okay ta -ta 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 -ta. some errors i think that is a repository error because in this module restaurant service I am adding the restaurant entity and the restaurant address entity. What can it break? We go to the domain module. Okay, we are not importing restaurant address entity. That's breaking it. So I think it should fix. Now, when I just do get by ID, yes, I'm getting the address object, right? So this address object talks about okay uh the city state that we can just show on the the landing page of this restaurant information so it is coming inside a address object i can just check that that inside a dev tool also okay this is selected restaurant that contains the dishes and ta -da -da okay lots of things are there filtered restaurant and selected restaurant so this fetch api should be giving me this data i mean i think uh, this redux dev tool is not updated here how we are getting the address if i just try to log it if i just check the network tab to see what api call we are making so here inside dishes this is the address object i'm talking about so i can just do address dot city and country or whatever is the name inside our front end component so swiggy app i will go to the home page restaurant page and here we can show some information like uh, data dot address dot city here you can also specify state description something big description thumbnail if we have thumbnail then we are showing it is it an array or an object so thumbnail is coming as an array still so we'll just follow the same convention i mean there can be a banner thumbnail because we need to make it uh, nice right delivery time average price for two and some offers okay something is showing up so we can just feed more information about the restaurant the restaurant description the ratings delivery time the price for two because this data is currently not there that's the, the problem is while creating the restaurant we are not feeding this information there because this is null so here we can have another attributes like delivery time average price because these are the two attributes i see which needs to be there so what are those attributes let's see in our code we are using average price and delivery time that should be in the dto 
average price and delivery time let's see in the entity we have it or not domain restaurant entity average price and yes we have it delivery time let's have another attribute delivery time that gives us okay what is the delivery time of this restaurant how far that is default null delivery time can be a string now delivery time you can expose through the details so this is address dto okay search query there should be create restaurant dto this is where we can add delivery time and this is a string let's say delivery time and the example is let's say the 30 minutes or something like this let's say 30 numeric is fine this is, is optional true so that is good and now uh delivery time to the top and set closes at average pricing i don't see average price here so let's add that average price should be in the dto also so this is average price i mean i need to check if it is the uh, int or so rating is a number delivery time is a number that is okay here average price average price should be of type number and then because we will be talking about INR here delivery time we can just keep it as also number like that will be inside the minutes so here it will be an uh, int and this will be of type number so here we need to transform it like we might be doing some this transformation somewhere in our search dto like transform number i mean you take this as a string you will transform it and this is the number attribute so the restaurant dto we're talking about couple of attributes delivery time this should be of number and average price this, that is also number average price delivery time and let's see now in our api spec i can see something average price delivery time so here delivery time is 30 minute should be of type number and average price is let's say i'm just saying 500 for two this is average price and we are transforming that into a number before sending it to the payload okay now this looks good now what we can do is we can feed on some data here there are some more attributes like uh, we are storing if you see our database we might be storing website link and uh, because these all the information we can show so these we can have that as an optional contact number like website url social links that is a json array so website url we can take social link or individual properties also we can take like a facebook link a twitter link website url is optional default null we can ask a user to provide uh, the website url that we can show on the front end okay this is uh, pizza hut this is uh, this is Zomato and all these swiggy is string is optional is must because these attributes are not required website url so i'm just updating the details
Terminals.com uh, required false. This is optional. Website URL is of type string. Here you can also do a couple of things if you want. Is URL is a validations you can add the website URL. Okay, that you will pass in our entities. So this is the DTO. DTO will expose the website URL that is optional. And here you will see all the parameters. So this is all about populating more and more values by feeding more and more information. Now what we will see is we will now see a couple of uh, the APIs like we already have a cart APIs created. Now we will see when you click on plus minus we will add the items to the cart. So we will hit the cart API. So we need to create a cart slice in the next video.